In March of 2017, a YouTube user named BalaklavaGirl95 uploaded a video titled Video Dating Tape. In the description, the user states that they found this footage on a tape inside a VCR that got at a car boot sale. The video is concerning, to say the least. Hi, I'm Tony. The tape depicts a man named Tony, who described himself as an entrepreneur looking for someone to share his luxurious life with. I'm 36 years of age, 5 foot 10, an entrepreneur, businessman, and part-time adventurer. The tape, as the title implies, seems to be his call-out to anyone willing to date him. As if this isn't already creepy enough, there are a few things in the tape that make this even more unsettling. At one point, the tape cuts to footage of someone pointing the camera at some person's home from behind trees. And I'm looking for someone to share that luxury with. And during one of his takes, we can see he's clearly not in a sane state of mind. My yacht is moored there. Later on in the tape, we can see that he is not alone while recording this. Someone that can... Long walks along the beach. Just... Near the end of the tape, he even stops being subtle and says he wants someone he can spend the rest of their life with. Someone I can spend the rest of their life with. The tape ends with Tony asking any willing woman to send a picture with their age, name, and location to this address. In the final seconds of the clip, you can hear a woman once again whimpering in the background. The person who uploaded this video never made another upload after this. They never even responded to any of the comments, as if they created this channel for the sole purpose of uploading this. The comment section is filled with people unnerved by what they just watched, debating over whether it is real or not. While I think it's pretty agreeable to say this tape has an overall fake vibe to it, there were a few comments that begged to differ. One comment said, She's been suspected of abducting young women making homemade films of dating videos by asking for private info. No one knows where he's at now, but he's lost. Another comment mentioned a similar story, saying, This video is real. He is a known offender. He had kidnapped women and held them against their will. When they bore him, he makes a new video. Now, these are obviously some pretty big claims, so reasonably, people asked for at least a name they could use to verify this. The person that left this comment just responded with, His name is Tony, along with some more nonsense. Yeah, no shit, his name is Tony. That's literally the first thing he said in the video. Hi, I'm Tony. All the comments claiming this guy is a known offender are all lies with the zero evidence to back them up. Now, this video has gotten some coverage before, but it's never been properly debunked. So I did some digging, and I was able to 100% put this video to rest. So, the first thing that should stand out about this video is the description. They just say, Found this inside the VCR I got at a car boot sale. Sorry, bad quality tape got chewed I think. Haha, <laughs> weird tape. Given what was on the tape, this is a really weird thing to type. They don't seem creeped out in the slightest. If I found a tape like this and I thought it was real, I'd probably bring it to the police or something. This alone doesn't prove that it's fake, however. This tape has a few indicators of when it may have been created. It seems that this tape was recorded over another one, since there are sections where the video cuts out to something totally unrelated. For instance, right here. Just 
This is a clip from a Toys R Us advertisement from 1989, meaning this tape was created no earlier than 1989. At a later point in the tape, a cuts out again, but this time the footage of a wedding. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm in the background, you can hear this song, Everything I Do, I Do It For You. This song was released in 1991, so that narrows down the possible creation date of this tape a little bit more. But then again, this tape may have been created long after this, and is made to look like it's older than it actually is. It might not even be an actual VHS tape. The real answer to all of this lies in the identity of the man in this video. After using a reverse image search, I found a possible candidate for who this may be. This man here is Darren Stoneham, a British actor. It's hard to accurately compare their faces since the dating tape video is such bad quality, but there are a few facial features that match. The hairline seems to match, the nose seems to match, and the brow seems to match. I wasn't able to find any interviews with Stoneham, but I did find a short film that he starred in to help compare some more. But what really seems to match here is the voice. Come here, honey. Hi. <laughs> they sound practically identical. Just to be absolutely sure these were actually the same people, I decided to run their pictures through a facial recognition software. I used two different pictures of Darren Stoneham to compare it to the man in the video, and in both results, I said there was about an 85% likelihood that these were the same people. And that's enough for me. So there you have it. The guy in the video isn't some creep who murders women. He's just an actor. I can only assume this tape was some sort of acting project he created a while back that he wanted to get out. Hopefully this will ease the minds of anyone who is actually concerned about this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.